Good evening and welcome to today's Jodie's Food for Thought. Now, it's a little bit of a serious one today, guys. What we're talking about is, does your partner, your lover, whoever the person is in your life, prefer you fat, overweight, big, whatever you want to call it, but obviously it is a thing. And when you are overweight, you do attract people that like bigger people. It can be very flattering, it can be great, um, but if you're on your weight loss journey, obviously your attraction from your partner or your lover will, or I won't say will, may get less. So, I'll be honest, I have this problem in my life. The, my boyfriend, as I've spoken to you before about of quite a few years, likes big guys. So, as you know, <laughs> the last couple of months, I have shrunk and when I put on my, like I have tonight, a slim photo, everybody's like, oh great, congratulations, you look wonderful. Apart from my boyfriend, who's like, thumbs down, no. <laughs> so, what do you do in this situation? I'm sure you guys have had this situation. And whether you sadly split up with your partner because it's just not working, or you find a way to rekindle the relationship, which is not about being overweight. A lot of the time, um, it can be about food. Maybe you just particularly enjoy food together. I have friends out there we just love eating together. So it can be that sign. Thelma, just be yourself. Yes, this is my answer, by the way. Of course, I'm not going to change for the love of my life because how can you change, you know, for your health? A lot of people in the Middle East, a lot of people um, who maybe are not from Western Europe or the West, should I say, you know, don't understand the health benefit, the health benefit of being your ideal weight. Um, and if you look at Trisha, when I was on Trisha many, many years ago, you know, I was happy being fat. I was happy being 21 years old and 31 stones. Um, surely, <laughs> surely I am not a feeder. <laughs> surely I know you're not a feeder. You discourage him from eating, I know. Uh, you've probably seen the hashtags I use. One was feeder. There's been programs about the feeder who actually uh, feed their partners up. And, and a lot of these times when they've gone into in depth about the situation, normally a feeder is somebody who's scared of losing their partner. And unfortunately, um, they do feed them up to either keep them bedridden in the house or just think that they won't be attracted to other people. Hi, Roberto. Um, and then the other one you may have seen there, this is a big term used in the gay world, which is chubby chaser. So we call these guys, normally they're quite thin and muscular, we call them chubby chasers. So they actually go out there looking for bigger guys. Um, and you know, when I, when I lost weight previously, um, I had all this attention, well, obviously when I was on Channel 4, I was quite a... Um, sought after young chub which a lot of chubby chasers were coming after uh, and obviously I lost loads of weight and then I lost this attention from this sector so I did kind of miss this attention because for me I don't want to sound uh, to give you too much detail but obviously I was quite popular then in that aspect of my life um, surely when I ask for help I don't get <laughs> Shirley, I'm sorry, I know that we've got uh, issues with Barry that we need to deal with. Uh, Thelma, if he loves you, he, that's all that matters. Uh, Kay, oh my God, Rob just bought me a cup of tea in the biscuit barrel. Yes, Kay, call him a feeder, tell him he's a chubby chaser. <laughs> But no, there is a really serious side to this, guys, and I know a lot of you, um, even myself, you know, maybe that's why previously I was exercising, you know, to keep myself fit and healthy, um, but I wasn't desperate to lose weight because, you know, I was in a nice relationship and I was happy. So it's a really complex subject, and there certainly isn't one answer for everybody, um, but you do have to think about your health, and as we've mentioned there a couple of times already, um, you do have to go with what you want as a person. 
And I honestly believe, um, you know, if that person really does love you, they will love you as a person. Um, if they like flesh, but <laughs> I don't want to go into too much detail. But if they like flesh, I've still got lots of flesh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a problem. Um, but I just want to open up this issue. What is your experience? You know, would you, if you are a chubby chaser, maybe you like bigger guys or bigger girls, you know, would you stay with somebody if they have lost weight? Um, and again, I know that you can love somebody, but maybe you don't find them attractive anymore. So that is the subject of tonight's Jodie's Food for Thought. Please share your thoughts and share your experiences. But yes, I am going down to my goal weight. I'm sorry to my lovely boyfriend, but my body is going to get smaller. Right, that's it guys. Uh, I'm back in Derby. You can see, ready for a lovely week. If you haven't seen my new timetable, it does start tomorrow. Yay! And a new Tuesday morning. Just wait till I show you the new studio I'm working in on Tuesday mornings. It's amazing. It's like the disco studio of the area. I can't wait. Uh, for more of my videos, go to youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting. Bye for now. Bye.